Hi everybody, just PJ here with my pal Liz Manley. <laughs> now we have very much, uh, much more in common than people would know. Our moms both died of ovarian cancer. We've done fundraising. We're both very much uh, about how to um, raise funds and raise awareness. You've got a show coming up. Tell me all about it. Well, I've uh, a lot of people might know a, a little bit about my history. I went through a depression and was declared as a nervous breakdown when I was skating. It was right before the Sarajevo Olympics and I ended up quitting skating. And I was a young teen going through a lot. And I ended up taking that pathway to getting help and, and the treatment that I needed. Unfortunately, today what we're seeing with our teens is they're, they're, they're not realizing that there's help out there and they're not alone. And I've become very passionate about this cause because of my own experience. So I've spent the last couple of years going around, I'm speaking to teenagers and high schools and I've been doing a lot of work with a, with a group in Ottawa where I live called Youth Services Bureau, which is an open door policy for teens to be able to walk in and reach out for help confidentially and without a parent's signature which is a lot to do with some of what's been happening with our teens is they don't want to tell their parents and a lot of places you have to go to you need a parent signature so this really became a group I was very passionate about working with so with all my charities as PJ just said um, I, I wanted to do something different I go to a hundred dinner galas a year for charity and I was thinking what could I do different this is what I could do different, is get some of my closest friends all together and come out and support what we really need to support, and that's teen mental health. So I am doing a benefit show. Um, we have a lineup of of greatness. We have Joanny Rochette, we have Elvis Stoiko, Nancy Kerrigan, we have Weaver and Poge, we have Duo Mellon Radford, Sean Sawyer, Joseph Sabachek, a whole lineup and I've got live singers as well. So I'm really, really excited about the show. It's January 26th in Ottawa at Scotiabank Place at 7 p.m. Tickets are on sale right now. Don't miss out on this. And it's not only to see some of your favorite skaters and some live singers in a great show, you'll also see my old butt back on the ice, but it is supporting a great cause. We are losing far too many teenagers to mental illness and they're taking the, the wrong path and we need to show our support and let our kids know we're there for them and they're not alone. Do you think that this this kind of help or support might have changed you descending into a nervous breakdown? Absolutely. It really did um, because I was in a situation where I easily could have taken that path. Um, you know, we've had a, a real string of suicides, teen suicides in Ottawa, very public ones. Um, one, of the, one of the people I will be tributing in this show is Jamie Hoobly, was a figure skater with the Glen Karen Figure Skating Club, and he is one of the people I will be tributing, as along with Darren Richardson, who's Luke Richardson's daughter from the Ottawa Senators. And you know what? I was right where they were, and um, you know what? I, I easily could have taken the path that they did, but I took the path of getting help and reaching out for the for the support. And, and kids today don't realize that there is support out there and there is help. There's people like me out there that are willing to help and I want to make a difference and I want to make a change and I'm hoping that with me doing this event will make a difference. And is there a website where people can go for tickets? The website is, uh, they can get tickets at capitaltickets.ca or go right on to elizabethmanleyandfriends.com. Wonderful, thanks so much for talking to Thank me. Thank you very much.